Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. I'm your host, Madam Madigan. Handle it. Provided some tough love. Let's resume. Okay, let's talk to Clem about the map. Hey, Clem. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We should look for your parents. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. With my help. See how far. Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Oh, God, what's happening? Unexpected delay. Okay, let's check our achievements. Shows who needed you more. What's that supposed to mean? What is it? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing Yeah, right we do. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. 
We won't let them escape. I see how trusting you are, Kenny. We'll be down here. Leads up to that wrecked anchor. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. This is so... This is a test. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. It's been a bad day. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. Uh, that's not fair. Down. Why, did, why don't we get to swear? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I've been with her since this all started. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? We just met Chuck. We just met Chuck, but he seems like an alright guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay, let's talk to Omid and Krista. Let's go talk to your people, man. Omid? What? Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? FRS truck. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Anything useful in here? Hey, that's, that's about, about it. Useful thing in here. It's empty. Yeah, we don't want to blow this tanker up. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Okay, let's go talk to our groupies. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. We're so, going to cut that yeah. tanker down. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, <laughs> jackass.
teaching him anything? Trying to. The whole thing's pretty simple, really. How could it not be? Learning the ropes? Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Well, you're kind of optimistic for just joining. How uh, have you guys made it this far? How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Huh. I see. We see who wears the pants in the relationship. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Huh. I don't like cats. I'm more of a dog person myself. And my sister's allergic to them. I guess it's good Clem's got a woman to talk to. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Careful. <laughs> Careful, she's a crack shot now. Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Huh. Wonderful. <laughs> you three thick as thieves. Oh wait, we're a, we're a teacher, so we're, no wonder we'd like that. What were you guys arguing about? What were you about? two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Not sure how we'll get that tank Not down. sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Now let's talk to Clem. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Maybe I should check out that train station. Okay, let's see what this does. It? No, nothing. Could I cut through it, maybe? I don't know. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. I guess we're gonna have to go check out that place. All right, let's go! Over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Aww. Yeah. Right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, alright? 
Hustle over if you hear anything. Yeah, we're a team. Clem and I kick butt. Together. Clem and Lee kicking butt. Like a team. You know what? Survivors inside. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. been dry for months. I wonder if there are any survivors left in there. Maccabee import. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Hmm. Lovely. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. I can't see in there. But Okay, Clem. We'll have to find a way in. Hey! The windows open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ready? Go! Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? See if you can find anything. What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. While we're just babbling on, Clementine just opened it. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. They didn't Let have me much go. Back then. I choose you. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Locked up good. 
There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Are you ready to do this, Glenn? You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Everything's fine. Glenn! Keys, now! Fuck, it's still locked! so good. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. But you're okay, Clem. I protected you like always. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yeah? We handled it. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned everything is dangerous. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Everything's all right, Clemmy Clue. Clemmy Clue, I choose you. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look.
Hi, girls. Hey. About what happened in the station? We were trying to get used to being on our own. Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. Yeah, we didn't really think that spot. through. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. What about... Oh, we can't talk to Clem. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. All right, let's go up. Let's talk to Omid. Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Are you ready for this? Well, let's see what happens. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. <laughs> Plug that leak with something. Good thing we have tape. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No Whoa, thank you. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! Huh. God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Yeah, cut, Omid, cut! Cut, Omid, cut! Cut, Omid, cut, cut! Coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! Come on! It's going! Pull me up! Whoa! Can he go? To God, this works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Yeah! Guys! Jump! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Come on, Omid! Ah! Omid! Shit! Run! No, her, not me! Chris, 
done now! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? That's really sad. Next stop, the Atlantic. She just sleep. She must be exhausted. We'll find a Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's just gotten too bad. It's gotten too bad, you know. You, me, nobody can take all this. What we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Yeah. Clem, are you okay, honey? Lend me your ears. Let's listen. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents, but Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. Whoa. I get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? Yeah, Clem. You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Around every corner. Sweet merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? 59% of players did not shoot her, okay. Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? I kind of thought that we had to just because she took away our love interest. She took away Carly. Stand off. Did you fight Kenny? 45% of players. <laughs> 
knocked him down. A heavy burden. Did you shoot duck? You and 81% of players shot him. A helping hand. Did you help Omi? You and 60% of players helped Omi. All right. Jesus, what an episode. So Clem has been talking to this weirdo guy. We don't know if he's like a pedophile or what. And Omid and Krista, we just met them. I don't really know how I feel about them. Um... I'm, I'm glad that Clem now has a better chance of surviving. And Chuck, drunkard, kind of stereotypical homeless man. We'll see what he has to offer the rest of the group. I feel so bad for Kenny. He lost his, he lost his wife and his child all on the same day. Enough of my contemplation. You know what time it is. Oh wait, we need to look at our achievement. Look behind you. Made it out of this train station with precious cargo. Lend me your ears. You know, that's like the, uh, that's like the, um, have you ever heard of Julius Caesar? Where he's like, um, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears? That's what that's from. Okay. So, this is it. For this episode, anyway. Give me a like. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Become part of my troop. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Good night.